Northern Bob White, the Northern Bob White, Virginia quail or, in its home range, Bob White quail, Colinus virginianus, is a ground-dwelling bird native to Canada, the United States, Mexico, and the Caribbean. It is a member of the group of species known as New World quails, Odoniforidae. They were initially placed with the Old World quails in the pheasant family, Phasianidae, but are not particularly closely related. The name Bob White derives from its characteristic whistling call. Despite its secretive nature, the northern Bob White is one of the most familiar quails in eastern North America because it is frequently the only quail in its range. Habitat degradation has likely contributed to the northern Bob White population in eastern North America declining by roughly 85% from 1966 to 2014. This population decline is apparently range-wide and continuing. There are 21 subspecies of northern Bob White, many of which are hunted extensively as game birds. One subspecies, the masked Bob White, Colinus virginianus ridgewayi, is listed as endangered with wild populations located in the northern Mexican state of Sonora and a reintroduced population in Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge in southern Arizona. This is a moderately sized quail and is the only small galliform native to eastern North America. The Bob White can range from in length with a wingspan. As indicated by body mass, weights increase in birds found further north, as corresponds to Bergman's rule. In Mexico, northern Bob Whites weigh from whereas in the north they average and large males can attain as much as. Among standard measurements, the wing cord is, the tail is the culmin is and the tarsus is. It has the typical chunky, rounded shape of a quail. The bill is short, curved and brown-black in color. This species is sexually dimorphic. Males have a white throat and brow stripe bordered by black. The overall rufous plumage has gray modeling on the wings, white scalloped stripes on the flanks, and black scallops on the whitish underparts. The tail is gray. Females are similar but are duller overall and have a buff throat and brow without the black border. Both sexes have pale legs and feet. There are 21 recognized subspecies in three groups. One subspecies is extinct. The northern Bob White's diet consists of plant material and small invertebrates, such as ticks, snails, grasshoppers, beetles, spiders, crickets, and leafhoppers. Plant sources include seeds, wild berries, partridge peas, and cultivated grains. It forages on the ground in open areas with some spots off all or vegetation. Optimal nutrient requirements for Bob White vary depending on the age of bird and time of year. For example, Optimal protein and energy requirements for egg laying hens, 23% protein, is much higher than males, 16%. The northern bobwhite can be found year round in agricultural fields, grassland, open woodland areas, roadsides, and wood edges. Its range covers the southeastern quadrant of the United States from the Great Lakes and southern Minnesota east to Pennsylvania and southern Massachusetts, and extending west to southern Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. Colorado Front Range foothills to 7,000 feet, and all but westernmost Texas. It is absent from the southern tip of Florida and the highest elevations of the Appalachian Mountains, but occurs in eastern Mexico and in Cuba. Isolated populations have been introduced in Oregon and Washington. The northern Bob White has also been introduced to New Zealand. The clear whistle Bob White or Bob Bob White call is very recognizable. The syllables are slow and widely spaced, rising in pitch a full octave from beginning to end. Other calls include lisps, peeps, and more rapidly whistled warning calls. Another phrase to use to mimic the call of the Bob White is Bob White, your, Bob, peas, Bob, ripe, why? Like most game birds, the northern Bob White is shy and elusive. When threatened, it will crouch and freeze, relying on camouflage to stay undetected, but will flush into low flight if closely disturbed. It is generally solitary or paired early in the year but family groups are common in the late summer and winter roosts may have two dozen or more birds in a single covey. The species was once considered monogamous, but with the advent of radio telemetry, the sexual behavior of Bob Whites has better been described as ambisexual polygamy. Either parent may incubate a clutch for 23 days, and the precocial young leave the nest shortly after hatching. The main source of nest failure is predation, with nest success averaging 28% across their range. However, the nest success of stable populations is typically much higher than this average, and the aforementioned estimate includes values for declining populations. Brooding behavior varies in that amalgamation, kidnapping, adopting, crushing, gang brooding, may occur. An incubating parent may alternatively stay with their young. 
a hen may re-nest up to four times until she has a successful nest. However, it is extremely rare for bobwhites to hatch more than two successful nests within one nesting season. Northern bobwhite were introduced into Italy in 1927, and are reported in the plains and hills in the northwest of the country. Other reports from the EU are in France, Spain, and Yugoslavia. As bobwhites are highly productive and popular aviary subjects, it is reasonable to expect other introductions have been made in other parts of the EU, especially in the UK and Ireland, where game bird breeding, liberation, and naturalization are relatively common practices. From 1898 to 1902, some 1,300 birds were imported from America and released in many parts of the North and South Islands, from Northland to Southland. The bird was briefly on the Nelson Game Shooting License. But, it would seem that the committee was a little too eager in placing these quail on the license, or the shooters of the day were overzealous and greedy in their bag limits, for the Virginian quail, like the mountain quail were soon thing of the past. The Taranaki, a climatization, society released a few in 1900 and was confident that in a year or two they might offer good sport. Two years later, broods were reported and the species was said to be steadily increasing, but after another two years they seemed to have disappeared and that was the end of them. The Otago, acclimatization, society imported more in 1948, but these releases did no good. After 1923, no more genuinely wild birds were sighted until 1952, when a small population was found northwest of Wairoa in the Rawapapa Road area. Since then bobwhite have been found at several localities around Waikaramona, in farmland, open bush and along roadside. More birds have been imported into New Zealand by private individuals since the 1990s and a healthy captive population is now held by backyard aviculturists and have been found to be easily cared for, bred, and are popular for their song and good looks. A larger proportion of the national captive population belong to a few game preserves and game bird breeders. Though the birds would be self-sustaining in the wild if they were protected, it is tricky to guess what the effect of an annual population subsidy in hunting has on any of the original populations from the acclimatization society releases. It would be fair to suggest most birds in the wild are no more than one generation from captive stock. An albino hen was present in a covey in Bayview, Hawks Bay for a couple of seasons sometime around 2000. Bob whites are popular throughout the world with healthy captive populations everywhere where bird keeping is enjoyed. Certain countries slash states require permits and record keeping, as the possibility that an introduced population may compete with or spread diseases with native equail is a real threat. Bobwhites are generally compatible with most parrots, softbills and dove. This species should, however, be the only ground-dwelling species in the aviary. Most individuals will do little damage to finches but one should watch that nests are not being crushed when the species perches at night. Single pairs are preferred, unless the birds have been raised together as a group since they were chicks. Some fighting will occur between cocks at breeding time. One cock may be capable of servicing several hens at once, but the fertility seems to be highest in the eggs from the preferred hen. Aviary style is a compromise between what is tolerated by the bird and what is best for the bird. Open parrot style type aviaries may be used but some birds will remain flighty and shy in this situation. In a planted aviary, this species will generally settle down to become quite tame and confiding. Parents with chicks will roost on the ground, forming a circular arrangement, with heads facing outwards. In the early morning and late afternoon, the cock will utter its call, which, although not loud, carries well and may offend noise-sensitive neighbors. Most breeding facilities keep birds in breeding groups, on wire up off the ground. This keeps the birds clean and generally avoids diseases and parasites which can devastate a covey. Cages with mesh floors for pairs and trios are also employed, but usually where there is a photo period manipulation to keep birds breeding through winter. In the wild the bobwhite feeds on a variety of seeds of weeds, grasses, as well as insects. These are generally collected on the ground or from low foliage. Birds in the aviary are easily catered for with a commercial small seed mix, finch, budgerigar, or small parrot mix. When supplemented with green feed. Live food is not usually necessary for breeding, but will be ravenously accepted. High protein foods such as chicken grow or crumble are more convenient to supply and will be useful for the stimulation of breeding birds. Extra calcium is required, especially by laying hens. It can be supplied in the form of shell grit or cuttlefish bone. In an open aviary, hens will lay all over the show if a nesting site and privacy are not provided. Hens that do this may lay upwards of 80 eggs in a season which can be taken for artificial incubation, and chicks hand-raised. 
otherwise hence with nesting cover, that do make a nest, on the ground, will build up 8 to 25 eggs in a clutch, with eggs being laid daily. Some captive bobwhite hybrids recorded are between blue quail, scaled quail, gambles quail, California quail, mountain quail and it has long been suggested that there are Japanese quail hybrids being bred commercially. There is a distinct lack of photographic proof to substantiate this. Inter subspecific hybrids have been common. Several mutations have long been established, including Californian Jumbo, Wisconsin Jumbo, Northern Giant, Albino, Snowflake, Blonde, Fawn, Bard, Silver, and Red. The Central American spot bellied bobwhite looks very similar, but lacks black facial coloration. The Asian rain quail is smaller in size and has a black breast. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.